Hey, what's up guys? Jay the Stingray back here again. Uh, I've been meaning to do some videos on the channel for quite a while. Just been uh, busy doing some other projects on YouTube, uh, whatever. But um, finally got a review here. This is like just a very small piece of what I've picked up since my last DVD update. But I'm going to go ahead and just show off some of the horror stuff I've picked up so I don't bore you guys with, with some of the, the non-horror stuff. But got uh, all these Walmart... Uh, multi-packs that they uh, re-released lots of lots of stuff on here I wanted to pick up that you know hadn't been released before you know Blood Diner um, lots of good stuff uh, let's see there's all the uh, reanimators and Return of the Living Deads so they combined them all except uh, the, the the actual the best one of the Return of the Living Deads is not on here so you got a uh, Three, which which is a lot of fun, and uh, of course the uh, Raid of the Grave and Necropolis there. Um, Prometheus, uh, very brief on this. I love this movie. I know it gets a lot of hate, but I loved it. Picked it up on, on Blue. Chiller, this is a, a British series that I hadn't ever heard anybody mention, but I know it was released by uh, Synapse. So I picked it up, and I've only watched one of these so far, but um, uh, so far I wasn't uh, disappointed. So if you guys have seen that, let me know what you think. Death Valley, uh, one of the uh, Scream Factory releases. Um, I, I've I want to pick all of these up, but you know because of uh, money, whatever, I haven't been able to pick up as many as I wanted. I'll talk about this one in a minute. Uh, this is a, a double pack. Uh, Arlington Road, Donnie Brasco. I saw Arlington Road recently for the first time and I uh, really liked it, so I wanted to pick this up on uh, Blu-ray and, and actually. I got both of these for about the price of the single release of Arlington Road, like 13 bucks. I got both of these, so not too bad of a deal. Macabre, one of the like 50 movies with that name. This is um, one recommended by uh, one of my buddies on YouTube, Zamini1979. I um, haven't had a chance to watch it yet, but looking forward to it. This is another one I'm really looking forward to, another, uh, another Amazon UK pickup. This is uh, Levide. I guess that's how you pronounce it. Um, this is from the directors of Inside. Inside is one of my favorite movies of the past few years. You know, past 10, 15 years, whatever. Really looking forward to this. I'm, I'm amazed I haven't watched it yet. But just so much stuff to watch and so little time these days. So, uh, yeah, I'll get around to it. Basket Case, the trilogy. This was put out by uh, Second Sight Films. This is another uh, British release. This is a Blu-ray steelbook. I'm not a big collector of steelbooks or anything, but I'm a I'm a big uh, Hennemanner fan, and uh, this are these are uh, region free Blu-rays. So really looking forward to checking these out. I haven't watched these yet either, but Basket Case one, two, and three. Um, love love those movies. Twenty One Jump Street. Uh, big fan of this one. I picked that up for my wife for Christmas. Thompson's. This is another one from, uh, or this is from the uh, Butcher Brothers. I reviewed this over in the House of Horror if you're interested. Um, uh, mixed feelings about this one, but overall I enjoyed it. Uh, I'd probably say check it out for a rental. This is The Sleeper. Some of you guys uh, have probably heard of this. They released this with a uh, VHS big box. Um, and I wasn't interested in paying the, the inflated prices on that, but uh, uh, Ryan 1988 recommended this to me. So, uh, I want to check it out. I haven't had a chance to watch it yet, but I hope to very soon. And another Screen Factory release. I think that's he put this out. Yeah. Another Screen Factory. This is, uh, of course, They Live. I haven't had a chance to watch this yet either, much like a lot of this stuff, but uh, love this movie. Love John Carpenter. Love everything about it. Um, hope the transfer is good. I haven't really heard a whole lot about the transfer itself, but if you guys have seen it, let me know what you think. And last but not least, this is one thing I wanted to talk about. This is uh, Moguls and Movie Stars, History of Hollywood. And uh, I picked this up. This was a, uh, a mini-series put out on uh, Turner Classic Movies. And um, I'm about halfway through now. Um, it's it's seven, seven episodes. They're about an hour long each. And I'm about three and a half in right now. And we're still in like the roaring 20s. But this, this thing starts like at the very beginning of like it's, it starts like with the invention of the video camera and it spends like a whole whole uh or, or with the invention of film itself and it's it spends like an hour on that so uh 
really really cool if you're, if you're at all interested in the history of uh, film I'd recommend this I'm really looking forward to the um, you know the uh, the 70s 80s um, you know I've really been trying to you know expand my knowledge of film and um, yeah if you guys have seen this let me know what you think anyway quick little update here just want to let you guys know what's up and hope to have more videos coming up soon I should have more free time with uh, work and everything so hopefully uh, you know branch my channel out a little bit anyway thanks for watching guys hope everybody's doing well thanks for watching peace